What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Deathwish Gaming, your one-stop shop for all things Warpath. Let's go. Let's talk artillery, guys. All right, so we are going to go over some of the best artillery officer combinations in the game, guys. We've done extensive testing on these things, and we are going to bring you guys... This is going to be beneficial for both uh, more seasoned players as well as newer players, obviously. Uh, you newer players are not going to have all of these officers necessarily awakened at, this, at your stage in the game. However, that is okay. These are things that you guys can keep in mind as you work towards building uh, your officer setups and, and what to prioritize and things like that. All right, guys. Now, some of this, especially this first combination is probably going to be pretty kind of redundant to a lot of you guys, but it's going to be Antonina Shevchenko. All right. And then Eruptor. All right. We're going to kind of touch on some of the key points that makes this combination so lethal and why this is going to be the first and the, the, the most not only common, but probably the most potentially lethal combination two is got the potential to be even more lethal. Uh, but for especially you earlier players, uh, this is going to be probably the most lethal uh, officer combination in terms of artillery that you're going to be able to have until later game, all right? So Antonina Shevchenko, all right? Uh, there's a couple of big big key things here that are going to help uh, make her stand out as well as Eruptor and why they're so, so devastating as a pair together, all right? Um, when it comes to uh, base defense, right, when you're getting attacked, all right, there's going to be a couple of big key points here with uh, Antonina that are going to help tremendously, all right? She is going to bring uh, plus 25% damage when garrisoned to the table, all right? So that artillery unit she's paired with is going to be doing 25 additional damage while garrisoned, all right? It is going to add 30% additional artillery firepower all the time, right? So whatever artillery she is paired with, she is going to bring 30% additional artillery firepower to the table, whether it's garrisoned in the field, doesn't matter, all right? Now, jump over here to Eruptor. A couple of big key points that he's going to bring to the table, all right? And a couple of, uh, you could make a case for a couple of these different skills, but I want to bring, I want to talk about one skill that may be surprising to you guys, but why I included it, and we'll talk about it, all right? So for him, same thing as Antonina, all right? He's going to bring plus 30% artillery firepower. Again, doesn't matter if it's garrisoned or in the field, he's going to bring an additional 30% firepower. He also does additional damage when attacking structures, all right, guys? So if you guys are still in that base-to-base -base mode, right? Or even if you're in conquest events and you're sending out artillery units to army groups, things like that, that are going to hunt down bases, right? That initial, um, or that additional, I'm sorry, that additional damage dealt to structures or whether you're attacking like an infantry bunker right or whatever it may be that additional damage to structures and fortifications is going to be pretty pretty substantial all right guys and this is one skill that he's going to bring to the table here that i want to talk about that i feel is kind of undervalued a lot especially when you guys are facing mass groups of uh, of uh army groups all right is the uh plus six percent artillery kill radius all right meaning that We've got to take into consideration that artillery is splash damage, right? It does splash damage, which means it's got kind of a... Um, it, 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 an easy way to think about it, right, is is when you've got uh, direct damage, meaning from like bullets, tanks, right? It's it's hitting that target, right? Splash damage means that it, it kind of radiates out a little bit, all right? Um, and so when you're facing mass hordes of army groups, right, and you've got just a ton of bases, a ton of ton of units packed and tied around your base, that additional kill radius is going to help inflict damage and ultimately inflict kills on uh, additional units while attacking. Um, you know, one specific unit is going to kind of splash out and deal additional damage, all right? So that's combination one, again, probably pretty kind of redundant for a lot of you guys. Uh, those of you that are newer servers, that is going to be the, the most lethal early game and late game officer pairing combination for artillery across the board. Now, this second combination has the potential to, to, to overtake the Antonina Shevchenko and Eruptor combination, uh, but we will see in time, all right? And it's going to be, again, Antonina Shevchenko is going to be the lead officer in this combination for this, this second combination here. And the third one is going to be Saber. Again, we have to take into consideration uh, every single one of Antonina's skills are, are incredibly good, and that's what sets her apart from the others, all right? But again, we're going to have the plus 25% damage when garrisoned and the plus 30% uh, 
artillery firepower out of the gate, all right? And then we're going to come over here and we're going to take a look at Saber of Nation, all right? He is going to bring a couple of key factors to this, this pairing as well. He's going to be adding plus 20% damage to tanks, all right? Where that's going to play a huge factor is... Uh, in base defense, right? When you guys are defending your base, whether it's just a one-on-one -on -one base situ base to base situation, or if it is a situation where you're facing a lot of army group units, right? You guys are going to almost always be, uh, be attacked by a super heavy or a heavy first. Generally speaking, you got uh, all of us that are in later, uh, later game stages, right? We're going to be attacked by super heavies first. All right. Which are, are the tankiest unit currently in the game. All right, and there's a reason for that because they're going to survive the longest and allow the other units, like the artillery units, to inflict the most amount of damage while the tank or while the the, the base units are working through that super heavy. All right, so that 20% additional damage to tanks from Saber paired with the already off the charts uh, skills of Antonina Shevchenko are going to just be devastating to these super heavies and and the tanks in general when you guys are are, are attacking bases and working uh, trying to work those units down so you guys can get to softer targets like the artillery and things like that in the back of the army groups, all right? Uh, also, what Saber is also going to bring to the table is a plus 30% damage when troops are below 50% durability, all right? And that is across the board. That's not just tank units, guys. That is any unit that is targeted by the unit that is that has Saber paired on it, all right? He is going to do 30% damage when troops are below 50%. So if you can imagine a troop is already halfway out of health anyway and then you're going to add an additional 30 percent damage to that when it hits that halfway mark it's just going to absolutely chew through units especially when garrison and and, and base defense situations guys so the third combination here all right and this is generally going to be a combination that you guys are going to want to use on your secondary artillery all right this is going to be a solid combination that's going to be very formidable and very, very good for you guys, especially when it comes to base defense on your secondary artillery unit, all right? This is going to be, we're going to talk about War Machine and then Bloody Mary, all right? A couple of things here that War Machine specifically is going to bring to the table and while, why it is going to make such a good combination here for your secondary artillery unit, all right, is going to be War Machine's plus 20% firepower, all right? War Machine is going to bring plus 20% firepower, all right, which is going to obviously help an already pretty strong artillery unit, right? Artillery units, generally speaking, are the most powerful units in your army compositions in terms of just raw firepower, right? They do a whole lot of damage. They've got not hardly any durability so if you if they get caught out in the field or whatever they're probably going to get crushed pretty quickly but strictly speaking base defense right the the durability aspect of this conversation doesn't really apply so the 20 percent firepower that war machine is going to bring is going to be very devastating uh to uh enemy units that are attacking your base potentially uh when garrisoned all right he's also going to bring the plus 10 percent reload speed right so theoretically the more shots we get off the more damage we're going to inflict, the more kills we're going to get, right? So all of these things are going to be in, 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 taken into consideration with War Machine uh, for that 10% reload. That 10% reload is going to be just uh, uh, extremely helpful, uh, in, in, again, in terms of getting shots off and being able to kill units, especially if you guys, right, because most players generally, while until they get later stages of the game, is going to have one uh, Liberty Artillery unit and then one Martyr's Howitzer, right? And we've already talked about in our... Um, comparison video with the Liberty Artillery and the Martyr's Howitzer. All right, we've talked about the differences there, and one of the big main differences between the two of them, right, is going to be the firepower, or I'm not the firepower, the the the, the reload speed of those two units, right? Liberty, uh, statistically speaking, is going to have quite a considerable faster reload time than the Martyr's Howitzer, all right? So if you guys have got that combination, that split camp combination, meaning you've got the Liberty uh, Artillery and then the Martyr's Howitzer, you guys will want to consider pairing this, uh, assuming they're on equal playing fields, right? Assuming they're both level 200, assuming they're both maxed out on modifications, things like that. Assuming that the variables are even, all right, or as even as you can get them. Uh, this is going to make a good combination for that Martyr's Howitzer because it is a slower reload speed compared to the Liberty. So the uh, faster reload speed from War Machine is going to help offset that uh, just a little bit, all right? So um, that, that will be helpful to you guys if you guys are in a situation similar to that. All right, Bloody Mary here. Here's what Bloody Mary is going to bring, all right? Bloody Mary is going to increase the enemy officer skill prep time by 1%, all right? That means that whatever officer, that that unit that it's tar that she's targeting, 
all right, is whatever officers are on that unit, it's going to, their skills, their officer skills are going to be delayed. The prep time for them to fire off is going to be delayed by one second, all right? Now, that might not seem like a whole lot on paper, but that quite literally might be the difference for some of you guys in winning or losing a fight or your base surviving or not surviving an attack, right? So if you guys can, again, when when your, when your, your, your units start to auto target different units right let's say a super heavy attacks our base we we kill off the super heavy and we're working to our second unit right and it, let's say it auto targets into a uh an artillery unit an, an enemy artillery unit right and we're going to assume that they've got uh, uh antonina and uh eruptor or antonina and saber either one right those the, the skills from both of those units with those officer pairings is going to be pretty lethal to your base but if you can delay them by one second and that gives your unit another another chance to fire right or to get a shot off even maybe a little quicker before their skill cycles back around and fires again that might very well put you guys into a really good really good situation being again able to survive and, and weather that attack all right and then Another uh, pretty underrated, in my opinion, pretty underrated skill that uh, Bloody Mary is going to bring to the table here that makes her a good officer for a secondary artillery, especially because Bloody Mary, when you think of Bloody Mary and you look at some of her skills, right, like skill number three here is um, increased speed, right? Like how fast a unit moves in the field, right? You would think probably like a, a tank of some sort, maybe like a medium or a light or something like that. And don't get me wrong, I've ran Bloody Mary on my mediums before. She's a good tank officer. She really is a good tank officer. But as the game continues to evolve and they continue to add additional officers into the game, right, we've kind of got to get creative with the little ways. And sure, like the increased, you know, unit speed is not going to be real, uh, you know, taken into consideration a whole lot in terms of, you know, your artillery unit. Like, yeah, sure, it might drive a little faster and that's that's good. Right. I mean, I guess anything technically speaking helps. But that's not going to play a big role. Same thing with here, skill number four, right? We've got uh, troop durability is going to recover in the field one second uh, or one percent per second or whatever, right? Uh, so with that being said, right, artillery is is very strong in terms of firepower, but very weak in terms of durability. And chances are you're not going to be field fighting per se with an artillery. Your, your artillery unit might be out in the field, right? Maybe going to an army group or already is in an army group or something like that. But you're not really concerned with the durability recovery of, the, of this skill that Bloody Mary brings to the table. Because if your artillery is getting hit, it's probably going to die, just to be completely uh, honest, right? Still, again, a helpful skill, but more geared towards maybe like a tank or something like that. Not necessarily artillery. But what is going to be a real big benefit for her, all right, is going to be the increased damage, all right? She's going to bring a plus 15% damage increase, all right? Again, paired as the secondary officer, or heck, you could even put her theoretically as the lead officer if she's level 60 on a secondary artillery unit, and that increased damage is just going to help you help you guys, you know, kill off and, and be able to work through units, attacking units uh, even quicker when your guys' base is being attacked, all right? So... That is my top three combinations for uh, artillery officers, all right? I'm going to show you guys kind of my composition uh, as we wrap it up here so you guys can get a little bit of reference, right? So what I am what I am teaching you guys and what I'm trying to, to, to help you guys with is exactly what I am doing myself, right? I've got Antonina Shevchenko and then the Eruptor on my main artillery, right? And I say main because it's got the best parts, all right? They're both 7.2, both max stone modifications, but this 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 one with Antonina and Eruptor, I call my main artillery unit because it's got the better parts and things like that, right? I've got this uh, second Liberty artillery, 7.2, still great, all right? But it's not got the, it's not got as good of parts, so I consider this my secondary artillery unit, right? So, like, for example, when I'm sending out, depending, obviously, the situation, uh, every situation is different, right? If we're going into a big battle, I'm going to send all of my troops that I can, with the exception of my uh, anti-tank gun, right? Because there's never really any anti-tank gun army groups, but I'm going to be sending my mediums out, my artillery out, my super heavy out, or in, I may be running one of those groups, too, right? Whatever our alliance needs for, for uh, you know, to, to be helped, but... If I'm going to send one artillery unit out to an army group, right, for whatever reason, I'm going to send my main artillery unit here out to my army group so I know it can be as effective as possible with that uh, army group. And I'm going to leave this secondary already in my base just on the event that I get attacked, somebody drops in and I'm not expecting them. Uh, I at least have something in my base to defend myself with. And, and like I said, in that last combination that we talked about, I've got that pairing exactly uh, with War Machine and Bloody Mary paired together. All right. So that is going to be the top three officer pairing combinations in the game. Again, I don't have Saber Awakened, so that's why you do not see him in my lineup. One of these days when I do get Saber Awakened, hopefully he will absolutely be in my lineup. Uh, 
probably going to be replacing him with a Bloody Mary at that point. Obviously, we'll have to see what this, the landscape of the game looks like at that time. But Sabre is an absolute juggernaut of an officer, but he's also very expensive uh, to uh, awaken and fully fully max out. So I don't have him done at this time. Uh, so I'm, but I'm I am very pleased. I'm not upset with the secondary artillery officer pairings. Uh, War Machine and Bloody Mary is is a very good combination there, uh, and I would highly suggest you guys uh, consider running that. So again, these are the best three officer combinations uh, for artillery unit in the game right now. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have stuck around this long and you guys do enjoy this video, uh, please go ahead and hit this like button. I hope this helped. Um, I hope this kind of maybe cleans up some confusion. I've seen some people kind of having different ideas on artillery combinations. Uh, this is definitely going to be the best overall uh, top three artillery officer pairing combinations in the game. Uh, you could make a case for tip of spear, um, and I wouldn't say you're wrong. Uh, but just generally speaking, right, tip of spear is one of those officers that doesn't come out in the game right away. So uh, especially early game players, these are the artillery officers that I would definitely consider uh, and suggest uh, focusing on for sure. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one.